Good morning YouTube. This is John of John Richard Hewitt Fine Art. Coming once again from the old cemetery in Vicarage Road. And good morning up there from Mr. Gargoyle who has managed to blow the clouds away. We've got a beautiful blue sky. The birds are out, the squirrels are out, the magpies are out, the crows are out. So it's slightly chilly, but that beautiful blue, it's a lovely combination. But today, I'm smoking nothing. <laughs> so, instead I have a nice cup of black coffee. A little bit of a bunged up sinuses and when that happens I can't taste the tobacco so I don't want to waste tobacco on not by not tasting it it's one of the many reasons I smoke a pipe but I thought I would just check in with you all and um, welcome some new subscribers that have joined us of course the other thing is I've run out of filters and uh, before the sinus issues affected my taste I thought well I'll try my corn cob pipe without the filter and it's got a large bore so it doesn't make it that enjoyable to be honest um, and one thing I did notice is with a filter I actually got more flavour. Um, I even tried my print pipe that doesn't require a filter. For some reason the 7 L Balsa filters, um, I don't know whether it takes out all the bitter tars or whatever that it does but I actually got more flavor from my corn cob with a filter than without so I'd be curious to see what you you guys and gals think of pipe filters I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of the 7 Ellie balsa filters The other thing I had the other day, which is a blast from, a, from the past, it reminds me of all the old classic British adverts, it's a Hamlet cigar, which is in no way the, the most expensive cigar you can get, but for a relaxing smoke, a Hamlet cigar does the job. Although being a pipe smoker, I will let it just burn and I will puff on it like I do a pipe and then it's gone in five minutes. So um, I don't quite get the meditative experience as I do with a pipe, but there you go. But I am a huge fan of Cohiba cigars. But I haven't had one in a while. So dear pipe smoking community, do you also enjoy your cigars and if so which ones and what do you think of the classic Hamlet cigar? I can't remember the other one that I had. Classic supermarket cigar, was it? King Edward? Was that the potato? King Albert? I don't know. But you guys will know. It's, um, it's thicker than a Hamlet. It comes in a red wrapper. Um, you can get them at Sainsbury's and grocery stores. Long story short, it was terrible. <laughs> no offence to the, to the cigar itself, but no. Hamlet, for a small cigar, and it's something like I think nine pounds for a box of five, something like that. It's a nice little cigar. But it ain't a Cohiba. 
so I've been enjoying up until the last couple of days I'm enjoying my Edderdale and I've got some Bob's Flake in the basket along with the um, filters so I can't keep away from Bob's Flake it's like it's almost like Edderdale is the marzipan and Bob's Flake is the fruit cake that sits underneath the marzipan with a touch of marzipan to it and I love the depth of it I love that figgy meaty kind of dark Virginias that you get with things like St Bruno and even Condor although Condor tends to get a bit bitter for me towards the end So dear friends, I will um, keep it short, but I wanted to do a check-in, a toast to you all on this, on this day, however the weather is, where you are. And, uh, I've been updating my website by, by, from scratch and working over at the other gallery and um, it's been busy and exhausting. But it's what we do to keep it all going. So hopefully the next video, once my taste comes back, that usually only lasts about four or five days and then I'm back to normal, I will be toasting you all with a piece pipe full of Bob's Flake. Or possibly old Gary, you never know. But in the meantime, best wishes to you all out there. Take care, and we'll catch up soon. So from me, and my beloved gargoyle, take care everyone. Have a good day.